In MLPG4, Unicorn Twilight Sparkle takes a journey from being an antisocial bookworm, the friendship lesson maniac, to the princess of friendship, and finally, ruler over all of Equestria. Along this journey, she and her friends manage to change Equestria for the better, by uniting not just all of pony kind, but the creatures in the neighboring kingdoms as well. Screw that development! Let's undo literally everything that was established just so that we could do it all again. Greetings and salutations to all you marvelous rainbow enthusiasts. So with My Little Pony A New Generation coming out on Netflix tomorrow, I figure now is probably the most dramatic time to release this video. It's also probably not going to age well, but who cares? So as you can probably tell from the opening, I'm not fond of the idea of having three pony races divided like they were before the founding of Equestria. The reason is because we had nine fantastic seasons of progression for these characters and their accomplishments, namely the unification of the neighboring kingdoms. Except for maybe some places to the south. Tempest never really gave us an update on the state of things there. We even got a glimpse into the future, letting us know that even though the series is over, this wasn't the end of their story. The stained glass windows in the Canterlot Castle show us that many more major events take place years down the line, and many more are sure to come. The literal final words in the series are, How the magic of friendship grows. Twilight is literally telling us that friendship will continue to spread across the world, and whatever evil strikes, or chaos that ensues, they are prepared to handle it. If you ask me, there's just no better way to end a story than that. And now, we're all back to hating one another. What G5 is doing here is undermining everything that happened in G4, as if none of it matters. It's the same problem that so many people had with Episode 9 of Star Wars. When people learned that the Emperor was returning, Many fans were upset because it undermined Anakin's sacrifice at the end of Episode 6. With MLP, we find ourselves in a very similar situation. It seems as though everything the main six have fought for, everything they've worked towards, has all been for nothing. Now, I already hear some of you saying, it's just a TV show, it's not real, therefore it doesn't matter. To those of you saying that, let me ask you a question. Why do you cheer when they make an achievement, and boo when they do something awful? How many of you cried while watching Tanks for the Memories, or The Perfect Pair? I can tell you why all this matters. I can tell you why we care about these characters, despite them being fictional. It's because fantasy is about creating the illusion of reality. It's why writers spend countless hours trying to make a character feel as real as possible, even if that character is a rainbow pegasus living in the clouds. It's why characters have fears, desires, goals, hobbies. All of these things and more are designed to make a character feel real. So to tell us that everything these characters have worked towards is being undone hurts a little bit. It feels unfair, which, as a writer, is not generally the feeling you want to convey to your audience. So how do we fix this? For this setting to work, there is one crucial thing that cannot be allowed to happen. Equestria cannot fall and divide under Twilight's rule. Let's say Twilight ruled Equestria, and one day decided it was time to step down and let Sumpony else take the reins, like Celestia did. If Equestria falls under some pony other than Twilight, it won't be as hard to watch. However, it would still be difficult to accept that the entire kingdom fell immediately after Twilight stepped down. The best course of action that I can see is to have the title of leader be passed down to several ponies throughout history, and then either slowly descend, or suddenly have something or someone cause the crumble of Equestria. This way, it still feels as though Twilight and her friends didn't just immediately have everything they strive for undone, and fans don't feel like a rug has been pulled out from under them. At least not as much as it would if Equestria fell under Twilight. But what do you guys think? Is there some better way to transition from Twilight's rule? Or maybe you like what's being done with G5? If so, tell me why. I would love to hear your opinion on this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go find a very soft subscribe button to lay on. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have to review an entire movie. That video is going to be so long.